That is terrifying. Sorry, you can move. They've got a sense of touch, but they've also got a sense of taste. Most creatures, most animals don't. Shams are one of the only creatures that have a sense of taste, so they are one of the only creatures that do actually spit things out simply because they don't like the taste of it. Including human beings, but of course that's another one of the myths that they don't like sharks. They're not fan eaters, but they like to eat people. Again, could be further from the truth that actually don't like the taste of human flesh. They certainly don't seek it out. The number of shark attacks per person is always a mistake. Now, I'm not from alone, I'm not only a mistake on a surfboard, but uh -huh. it's here, if you probably heard. So I'll take one exploratory bite, and on that first bite, I'll realise it's not what they thought it was, and I'll swim away. If anybody does ever die from a shark attack, it's normally through one bite, through a shark or blood loss. So again, it's a myth that's going on, they like to eat people, they certainly don't. Worldwide, every year, there's only about 100 shark attacks. And every year there are less than 10 fatalities. In fact, last year only four people got killed by sharks. So if you're asked to draw a list of many of the whole things that are deadly to man, sharks are probably be quite close to the top. Actually, they're way, 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 way down. They've got the two extra senses that we have got there. They've got the sense of electrosensory perception. They can detect electricity in the water. All living things, including fish, when they move, they give them a very weak electrical charge, and that will attract the sharks. They've also got the sense of lateral line. They've got uh, pressure points all the way down either side of their bodies, which means they can detect very slight vibration in the water. Far more slight than we can detect. They're far more in tune with their environment than we are with ours. They're not made out of bone. They're not like uh, fish. They don't have skeletons at all. They're made out of cartilage. Now, if anyone's not sure what cartilage is, just take your touching finger, I want you all to do this, and touch the nose of the person to your right. Whether you know them or not, it doesn't matter, find the opportunity to make a new friend. Touch their nose. If there's no one to your right, touch the nose of the person to your left. And wiggle it around. That little half bit on the end, as I'm sure you know, that is cartilage. It's not bone, it's it's light to the bone, but it's heavier than skin. That's what they're made out of. So they are very, very light, very flexible, very fast in the water. They've got one mode, however. I'm sure if you think about it, you probably have one mode. I did think it was skillful. This is so cool. I don't know It is, of course, their jaw mode. I've got to go down. That's the one mode they've got. That's the front of their teeth. That's the one you see pictures of sharks' jaws. You know, they've got lots of rows of teeth. They've actually got seven rows of teeth going backwards. 